Hey guys, welcome to the May Shop My Stash. For this video, you're not really gonna see much of my face. It's just gonna be my hands. These are all the products that I brought in for April. This does not include, of course, any project pan items or anything that I have in a project. I don't typically talk about foundation, concealers, brow products because I don't have a lot of those and I don't really have to make a point to like specifically try to use one thing out of the few that I have in those categories. Mascara, same thing. So you don't usually see me talk about those in a shot my stash. Let's get into last month's stuff. So I brought in very few eyeshadows last month. I was feeling very neutral and easy breezy. Plus I had all my projects that I was working on and I wanted to really focus on those. And that's still kind of true. MAC Cork and Wedge, I use both of these very often. They're simple enough, can use these as transition shades. And that's mainly how I use Use both of these. I did not use them all over the lid, which I kind of wanted to do and still want to do. So I might just keep these out for a little bit longer to actually see the full brown on my entire lid, not just as a transition shade. This Black Bean Jumbo NYX Eye Crayon. I actually did not use this as an eyeshadow. I use this mainly as an eyeliner with a brush. All right, it wasn't like inky, inky black, you know, it was kind of slippery. I really was thinking I was gonna use this all over my lid, just like the other two eyeshadows, but that did not happen. So I don't know how I feel about this eye crayon. I do like to keep this just for like even Halloween makeup because it has come in handy for that. So whatever happens with this, I'm not sure, but as much as I say, well, I didn't really use it the right way the first time. Let me try it again this next month. It like never happens because then I end up focusing on all the new stuff I bring in. So I may or may not use this this month as an all over the lid shade. We'll see. I'm probably thinking not, but I'll hold it aside and see what happens. So I brought in this eyeshadow palette. This is the Too Faced I Believe in Pink, which is part of a set that came out a couple years ago. Um, the consensus with this is that I like these three eyeshadows and then the other three are kind of... I don't want to say garbage, but <laughs> they're kind of like not my thing. Like this barely comes up. Like this is chalky. Any kind of like light eyeshadow is a great base, I guess, for a primer. This does not show up on me at all. It's like literally my skin tone um, and very chunky and flies off. Yeah, I wasn't planning on using the blush this month, just the shadows. Really love the look of this on my lid and that on my crease. And I just love spoiled rotten as well. So um, interesting data there. All right, so for eyeliners, I brought in this L'Oreal Espresso Eyeliner. It's a gel formula. Still holding up really well, even after having it for so long. Not like I'm in a serious rush when I'm getting ready, but sometimes there's a little more thought that I have to put into using this. I want it to go on evenly. And yeah, there's just more thinking involved with a product like this, as opposed to these, really creamy. I reach for this a lot, this Wet n Wild Copper Eyeliner, and it's one of my favorites. And the MAC Forever Green, I guess I use this the same amount as the Wet n Wild one, but for some reason, I feel like I wasn't as inclined to reach for Forever Green. I think this is getting a little dry. It's kind of hard to show up on my eyelid now, so I did sharpen it up. And I feel like a broken record saying this. I almost want to give this another month to play around with and seeing if sharpening it made a bigger difference. I've been kind of mm, not really wanting to reach for it too much. I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that it's green too. Again, I have this weird thing with green on my eyes. Like I'm just weird with it. I don't know lately. I'm not really a bright green or anything. But yeah, just something to note. I don't want to make any promises that I'm going to actually use this in May, but I would like to. So I'm just going to say that. <laughs> So I usually keep the same highlighters in for two months just because I don't have a lot of highlighters. Both good, one's powder, one's cream. Used both of these pretty much an even amount. Now it just depends on the mood. Yeah, Mary Luminizer and the MAC Pearl highlighters. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these in I think for like another month because again, I don't have a lot. And for blush, um, I was focusing on my Project Pan blush, which I finally friggin' hit pan on. These two are nice. I like the way they look on me. This one, however, I got rid of two other ones. I decluttered those. And this is the last one that's left in this like Wet n Wild Mega Glow Powder. And I am not as sure anymore after wearing it this month if I like it as much as I thought I did. They do actually still make this. I checked, just the packaging's different. So that's another interesting thing to know. Again, it's nice, but I feel like I kind of liked it more in the beginning or of the month. And then now I'm just kind of like, eh, it's okay. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of how I am with most of my blush, to be honest. After a month of using the same two blushes, I just kind of get sick of them. So maybe I'll bring in more blushes this month to keep me 
liking my blushes consistently from beginning to end. I don't know if that'll make a difference, but just something else to note. For bronzer, I only pulled in this Hoola Benefit one. Um, I'm working on a contour stick, which I kind of use bronzer and contour items like kind of the same way. I didn't want to like bring in all these bronzers and not be able to use them a decent amount. So I usually keep bronzers in for two months. And for my lip products, I brought this one in as a carryover from the month before. This is MAC Craving and this Avon in the buff. I still love this one. This is just my go-to nude, really like it. This one, I still, I don't know, man. I don't know if this is just a sign that maybe I should just like, I mean, it's still okay, I like it. Having used this thing six times, you would think I would form a really strong opinion about it, but I'm still kind of like, not sure. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I didn't really wear it to, to its full glory, even though I did wear it six times, I was either, layering it or blotting it or doing something. So I can't really remember how I felt about this. And that's crazy after having this for two months. Like, I still don't feel like I don't not like it enough to get rid of it, but like, what is going on? I don't know. So, I mean, do I try to make it work another month? Like everything else in my collection? Like, I don't know. Like, so just some weird like thoughts about things. Sometimes you just never come to an exact conclusion like at the end of the month. Sometimes you still have to sit on it and process. And that's kind of how this lipstick is and a couple of other things. And then eventually I just end up decluttering them or making it work but this might be like a project five uses type of lipstick so that's something to think about these two lip liners by nyx one is called mauve the other one is natural i honestly don't think i like natural i think i could declutter this and be okay with my life like honestly like it, it's just not that flattering on me here it looks like an okay peachy color it just makes me look off in some sort of way, decluttering this. Mauve, I do like a little bit better. I like this better than natural. So, but it's also just not a color that I was drawn to use that often. I think because it is a little bit darker and I don't tend to wear, you know, darker lip colors these days. Uh, I think that's mainly the reason why, but I think in the fall, I might get more use out of this. Or I track my usage in a bullet journal. This was always trying to catch up to everything else. Uh, that to me was very telling, but it's not because I don't like the color on me. I just think it mm, just didn't fit the vibe of certain days. And again, I'm not really wearing colors quite as dark right now or last month I wasn't so I, I can understand why I wasn't pulling for it it wasn't like this big mystery um, but, but I definitely don't think I care for this one as much and yeah I might be letting go of that one so yeah that was all of last month's products and let's get into the May products I'll be picking out all right so I'm gonna pick my blushes out so I'm gonna start on the bottom and no, I will not be bringing in any CoverGirl blush in case you were curious. <laughs> That's not happening this month. Um, nothing in this tray is really calling to me. And okay, so I'm going to pull in, I think, Hot Planet. Um, this one is a discontinued limited edition one. Um, yeah, uh, this I have not used in a really long time. And it's really pretty, like glowy blush and I've always really liked this. This has always been like one of my favorites. So I'm definitely gonna get some use out of this this month. And I almost wanna pull in the other version of it. Right, this one's called Earth to Earth. And this one just seems a little bit lighter. Do I wanna pull this one in too? I don't know. It almost looks straight up alike now that I'm like doing this. Like literally almost very similar. This might be a little bit more peachy and more vibrant. Yeah, I kind of want to play around both of these. So I'm going to pull both of these in. And in this tray here, um, here are all my NYX blushes that I'm trying to decide what to do with those. But, um, hmm. Thankful. I kind of want to play with this. These three NYX blushes, I am trying to decide what to declutter and what to keep might play around with these this month like on their own or something or randomly pull one in one day here and there but i'm not officially going to make it part of my basket i'm just gonna shut the door on that <laughs> um in case you missed my haul video i did get these two new cloud paints and i might keep these out in my basket too if i feel like switching it up so i'm bringing in these three with some flexibility to kind of play around with other things and i'm gonna put these old ones back in here while i'm here here are all my lip glosses. You might have recognized this from a declutter video, but this is like the one thing that I pulled back in from there. Um, so yes, I still have it. 
that's okay. The only lip gloss I did bring back, so there's that. Um, okay, so these are like getting dusty. I have my NYX Butter Glosses here, and I definitely want to pull in some of these because I haven't really been using them at all in a couple months. So I feel like I used this recently. It's kind of on its last legs, but I don't feel like dealing with that right now. This might be a little dark. Praline might be. It might be. I might pull in both Angel Food Cake and Tiramisu. This one is Tiramisu Angel Food Cake. So yeah, I think those will be easy and nice to use. So I'll pull both of these in. If I wanna use this, I'll use it. This is one of my New World products, ColourPop Luxe in Truth Bomb. I wanna use this more as well. So again, flexibility this month is the case. All right, so like I said, bronzer and highlighter are gonna stay the same as last month. I don't really have a lot of those, so that can stay the same. And here um, I have all my lip products. See, I like this type of a nude. This one is Cashew by Bite. This is like the old packaging that they discontinued. Um, I just feel like realistically, this might be too dark for me right now, even though I do love this color. This is definitely more of like a fall thing for me. I'm just going by, you know, how I've been feeling and what I've been reaching for. Um, let me see if there's anything else in here. That one's kind of fall. I, I feel like I pulled these in recently too, but they're starting to get a little... You can tell they're starting to get a little older and I don't want to hold it off anymore. So I might just pull in push up. Um, I feel like it's getting a little sticky and a little questionable. So I'm going to pull this in and get as much use out of this this month. I'm starting to see a little windowing here. This is a liquid lipstick, so I feel it's a little bit of a ticking time bomb now at this point. So I'm definitely going to pull that one in. I feel like I don't have as many nude lipsticks anymore. So I'm <laughs> everything feels like I just pulled it in recently. But hey, I mean... This one is Toulouse. You know what? That's a little bit newer. So I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with this. And if I feel like it, keep this one out. This is the Baddest Beige by Maybelline. Hopefully that will serve my, you know, nude type of shades. Am I ready for colored lipstick again? I don't know. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, me and pink these days, like I, if you were new here, I've been kind of feeling a certain way towards my pink lipsticks, but... I didn't use them at all last month and maybe that was the break that I needed. Am I ready for, you know, pink again in my life? Why is this one in here? This shouldn't be in here. I don't know, guys. Holy crap. I'm really thinking right now. So I'm not necessarily in the mood for a really heavy pink lipstick right now, but I actually feel like this coral color, this is Coral Crush. This is Maybelline. Could be interesting. Now, I was layering this with another lip shade. That's why it's kind of has like discoloring right there. But um, that could be fun to sheer out maybe. I don't know. I haven't worn this in a really long time. And usually I don't pull this out till like the middle of summer or June or something like that. I want to play around with this one. So that could be an interesting one. Here are all my reds and my purple colors. Um... I don't know if I'm gonna be feeling a red this month. Del Rio, no, it's too dark. I'm not really gravitating towards anything in here in particular. Now, you can wear whatever the heck you want, and I know that, but I feel like my environment, my work life, it just doesn't, I just don't feel called to wear stuff like this right now. I don't think I'm gonna be pulling any red this month. I don't have a ton of red left. I decluttered a lot of my red lipsticks, um, and that is kind of why, because I don't really wear red all the time. Uh, but they're there maybe next month. I don't know. We'll see. But I think I, I got enough color in with this this month, this coral shade. So that'll be fun. I'm not really one to wear red this time of year. And I'm not saying you can't wear red because I think it's beautiful and classic. I'm not really there yet. And I think this coral shade by Maybelline will fulfill any kind of color needs that I have this month. We'll see though. Actually, I'm gonna bring in this pinky lip liner by NYX. Um, I used to really, really like this. I wanna see if I still am just as in love with this as I was at one point. This was like my favorite pink um, lip color for a really long time. Um, I just don't get enough use out of it. So I'll make this my like pink for the month. So we'll see if I still love that. All right, so here's my eyeshadow singles and palettes, and I have not looked in here too much. I just needed a break from always looking in here and trying to figure it out, so it's a little dusty, but yeah. So what I usually do is I have all my eyeshadows listed, and I've been checking off every single eyeshadow that I've been bringing in for one of these, 
and I'm just about at the end of that list. I think I picked out and worn every single one of my singles over the past um, year um, or since I started doing Shop My Stash. So I kind of have free reign right now. So this should be interesting. Um, I'm gonna bring in one of these MAC pigment samples. I was calling this rosé for the longest time, but yeah, this is a really pretty rose gold. And I think that would be nice to kind of switch up from all of my Project Pan things. So I'll pull this pigment in. Apologize for the un inability to swatch right now <laughs> with holding my phone. Yeah, I used this recently when I tried to dupe the Amore palette by ColourPop. So if you were really curious what this looks like, check out that video. Okay, so let me migrate over here. I don't want to pull in too many of these because again, I do have eyeshadows in projects and I want to focus on those, but... Uh, oh, you know what one I'm, I'm kind of curious about and want to re-explore is this Pebble one by Bare Minerals. It looks kind of blah, but I am going back and forth about this one because I, it used to be one of my go-to favorite Bare Mineral eyeshadows and then recently I tried it and I was like, eh, it's just okay. So maybe this month I will figure this eyeshadow out and just, you know, and it is neutral. So I think it'll be easy to play with and just, you know, throw on when I'm feeling casual, which is most days these days. So yeah, I'm definitely going to play with this Bare Minerals Pebble shade. And I'm also going to bring in another Bare Minerals shade. I didn't bring in any of these last month, but uh, the Gilded Quartz one, I think this is like the last eyeshadow that I haven't brought in for a shot my stash since I started it last year. So this is really cool. I remember really liking it. So it, this is very festive to me. Like this reminds me of Christmas or something. But I'm just gonna pull it in anyway because I think it's still, you know, wearable enough. All right, so I don't have a huge palette collection, but I just literally feel like I've pulled in all of these recently because I don't have that many. Oh, but this was in a project pan, so that's definitely not getting pulled in. Um. All right, so looking in here, so you're getting like a mini tour of my palettes. I don't really feel like I wanna use any of these right now. But this Take Me Back to Brazil palette, I do have this inclination to use blues right now. So I'm kind of interested to play around with these like blue shades over here. So, I mean, I might use other ones in here, but I just feel like, you know, I, I kind of do wanna play with color on my eyes this month. It's I kind of miss it in a way. It's not the best quality, um, I will say that. It's definitely not as good as other rainbow palettes out there, but it does the job, I guess, for my particular needs at the moment. I could probably go with a smaller rainbow palette and be happy with that, but for now, I have this. So I'll just continue using this and pull this in this month. And yeah, that'll honestly be it for palettes because again, I have my Project Pan stuff and I honestly don't have any want to pull in anything there. So that'll be it for my eyeshadow. This is where I keep my eyeliners, mascaras, brow products. Um, and the brow products I keep, I kind of don't even pull in because I don't have enough of those to even do that. But I um, definitely want to pull in an eyeliner. I don't really have a lot of eyeliner left these days either. So I feel like I'm going to be cycling through these like pretty quickly. Um, all right, so these are the two that I used last month. Here are my liquid ones. So I don't know how to play this right now. I think I'm gonna pull in my Avon, my black Avon eyeliner because I do like to wear a black to define my eyes. Um, recently, I've been getting back into black eyeliner and I feel like it's almost essential right now for, for me, which is weird because I was getting away from using black and now I'm back into black. And now these two blue ones are, I usually save these for like summertime but I feel like because I don't have as many eyeliners anymore and I haven't used these two in a while, well, I used that one recently and I didn't feel like it, but um, I might actually pull in this bright blue ones. Maybelline Lasting Drama Eyeliner in the shade Luster Sapphire. I always really like this one. There you can see it, it's really bold. Um, I don't know if you can tell because of the shadow, but yeah. It is a really cool color. Heck, I might even use this. This is just my go-to winged eyeliner. This is the Vestigians Formula Sexy Booster in Ultra Black. They do still make this, I think, but it is getting older. So I'll pull that one in too, even though I swear I just, again, because I don't have as much eyeliner these days, I do feel like I just use most of these. So, all right, that'll be my eyeliners. All right, so now I'm going to update my monthly basket and trays, etc.
right guys, so this is just about my finished makeup basket, tray, lipsticks are over there, eye products, etc. Palettes are over there. So yeah, that's just about what my dresser looks like right now. Yes, I need to dust and clean, but um, yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this May Shop My Stash. I really hope you like this video. If you enjoyed it too, definitely consider giving this a like and a subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.